as Tracy is closing the door of her house. What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and today well we are going to the Mara and normally we would start the video there at the camp in the Mara but something quite interesting happened. When we booked for this specific camp they asked us basically what was our flight number, we told them we were gonna drive there and they told us that she'd never had someone drive there before interesting so we are on our way to the Mara and we're gonna we're gonna see you guys <laughs> back when we're a little bit closer there and see if we can make it so we are finally on that dirt road we have 77 kilometers total to do on this very rough road and this is where we're we're gonna see if we make it or not and on top of that Tracy wants to tell you something cute super stressed out Tracy we just pretty much lost our brakes. We have about 10% braking power currently. Um, and 77 kilometers of dirt road to do. Yeah. Let's go, uh, Land Cruiser people. Roast me in the comments down below. <laughs> we're gonna make it though. I, I, I think we're fine. I know the problem. It's leaking on my, my back wheel. And hopefully there's gonna be a good mechanic at the camp that can uh, help us out. Fingers crossed. So apart from the break so far, uh, it's doing well. We even just saw a sign for the camp not too far behind us. And right now, uh, the migration just started uh, a week ago or so. And I've never seen so many uh, wildebeest in the Masemara. Like they are literally everywhere. So I really hope that we're gonna be lucky if we make it to the camp, you know, cause breaks. Hey, <laughs> but we have I to really make it. hope that we're gonna be able to see some sort of migration stuff. There you go. We made it. I'm not sure like what the girl who we booked through was talking about, but it was very easy to come here. Even Google knew where it was. And we're all checked in. <laughs> Guys, we made it. It was a very uncertain trip, but we are finally <laughs> in our tent trip. at the camp. And now it's it's all uphill from, from now on, especially since they told me that they have a, an in-house mechanic. Mm. We're gonna go speak <laughs> to them shortly. <laughs> yes, but now up to Tracy for the room slash tent tour. Let's go. It's beautiful. So we're actually gonna start from the front of the tent. There is a side entrance from the path, but you'll see that plenty. So we have actually a very nice big deck veranda area. We've got a couple chairs. You could come sit out here. And he asked us when we came in for the evening, do you want your curtains basically up or down? And he's like, if you leave them open, the wildlife does come up right to the electric fence that's there too. So I think we might leave them open. Come see. So then inside you have your beautiful king size bed. I love like the massive posts on the bed. It's really pretty. Your normal spot for your luggage couple closets on either side. You have your bathroom in there and your shower in there. So I would say it's a typical tent, but the style of it, I really do like. And this is what I was talking about the other door. So we're gonna go for lunch soon, so I'll show you that. But on top of the bed, we even have some water bottles they gave us, a couple envelopes. I'm still trying to figure out if the books there are like gift books to keep. Um, We'll find out. We'll ask. Yeah. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> we'll ask. <laughs> ready to go for lunch? I'm ready. Let's I'm go eat. Organizing slightly. Perfect. Food time. So as we are walking to lunch, as, as I am uh, eating this lemon, let me thank once again Lemonade Finance. If you ever need to transfer money from Canada to Nigeria, the UK, the, in, in, in Europe, and also in Kenya, directly on M-Pesa, make sure to use the link down below, code Dave Manny to get 10% money back on your first transfer. It's free money, you're supporting us, it's a win-win. So this camp has 40 tents, and I believe two of them are actually family tents. And it's just, I always joke with Dave because I'm like, I love when we get to a place where like there's lots of place to walk. Because most camps are super small, which is great because you don't have a lot of people. 
but at the same time, like you're eating and sitting all day long. <laughs> so we have one of the tents that are fairly far away. My husband cannot walk in a straight line back. <laughs> Doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice we have like a beautiful walk to go eat lunch <laughs> that was hard guys that was really hard <laughs> try keeping a straight face when uh, i'm seeing that you're going through the bushes <laughs> i know it's just like all those paths are like going like this so i was trying to walk backwards it was quite something anything for the youtubes we just arrived by the restaurant where they serve all the meals it smells so good. I think it's gonna be great. You guys know me, the food is good, everything's fine. I think we made some friends for lunch. It's like they knew that my favorite meal is like anything taco. I'm very happy about this. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And for dessert, we have. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? Wow. Is it good? It was like macadamia nuts stirred in caramel on top of like a shortbread tart thing. And like fruits a... and cheeses. Pretty good. So lunch was really good. That was a very good first meal. I mean, they, they got me already. It was very, very good. But now on the negative side, we have to go find the mechanic. <laughs> so somebody's gonna have a look at it. We're gonna get a few things out of it that we need. We're gonna leave the keys with them and hope for the best because right now, in this state, we can't go back home. So, you know, fingers yeah, crossed. No, we stay positive. Home. We are in the Masamara in beautiful Kenya. A life could be worse. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's hard to see now, but like that tire there, this is where the fluid is leaking from. I don't think I ever seen Tracy walk beside a store without going into the store. Do you agree? Yeah. <laughs> just, just to have a look. So we're gonna try and do this one a little bit different. Instead of doing like just your room tour, your resort tour that type of thing we're kind of gonna do it as we go so it's a little bit less structured you can let us know if you like it or not <laughs> anyway so we're walking back to our tent and this is actually the pool we're told it's the nicest pool in the Mara see for yourselves behind me is the restaurant where we had lunch and we'll have all of our meals there <laughs> you just missed it I went to grab his hand and he went for the camera at the exact same time and did like a full-on like swerve and I was like whoa, whoa I didn't whoa. even notice like it was not on purpose <laughs> <laughs> so to get to our section of the camp there's about six tents over there I believe um, and you have to cross a little river we have our own little bridge okay so I know nothing about insects but there is a section of the path that is covered in fire ants but they're like I'm just gonna show you those are all ants. How crazy is this? <laughs> now I gotta top my shoes because I feel like they're crawling on me. Anyway, I don't know what they're doing. Well, after relaxing for what, 35, 40 minutes mm -hmm. in the bed? Are you recharged? Are you ready for a first safari of this trip? I'm ready for a coffee first and then. Okay. And they, I think they do tea first, so let's go back to the main lodge, yeah. do that, and then, then go see some animals. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> so this is the restaurant. It's a little bit easier to show you now because nobody's in it, so we don't have to worry about it as much, but it's fairly big. There's a nice little lounge area here. And on the other side there, there's like a mini garden where they get like all their fresh vegetable for salad and stuff, so that's pretty nice. Tracy won the game, but I don't care because I don't even like that game. Tracy, are you ready to go on a safari? Well, 
Let's always go. ready. Tracy and I decided to sit in the back of the truck because it's easier for us to film when we're with other people, right? But it's it's really, really bumpy in here. So our guide got the ticket because we're not even inside the national park yet. So everything we saw was actually just on the road between the camp and the national park. For your information, it's $40 US a person to go into the park for non-resident and 1,200 Canadian shillings for resident, which is about $11 US. There's a female there. We found a female and a male, and the male is pretty much just posing for us. <laughs> and they're sleeping now. The lion sleep tonight. So we just spotted four different cars in the same area, kind of looking in the same direction. So we're gonna go check out what they're looking at. So we just spotted two black rhinos, and I didn't realize, but apparently they're fairly rare within the Masamara. So that's pretty cool. looking at some elephants and they just were like slowly making their way over to us but then they kept coming and kept coming so we're in reverse just trying to give them their space they do have like a very very small calf Ooh, with them very tiny. so that's probably why they, they seem very protective and they don't want to see us here no It was a pretty good game drive for our first one here. Now we gotta rush out of the Masamara National Reserve because it's closing in about 15 minutes. Our guide told us to go to the bar to drink, so you know, <laughs> gotta listen. She, she the boss. <laughs> So we just did a quick stop uh, in our room or at the tent just to drop our things, grab a little sweater because now we're gonna go for supper. And just before supper, there's a bonfire which Tracy loves <laughs> and a Maasai den. So we're gonna go check that. <laughs> Did I win? You, you guys let me know in the comment section. No table, no problem. And to start, we have some soup, which is my favorite when it gets a little bit chilly at night. Ah, oh, it's the best. <laughs> Tonight for supper, some beautiful grilled lamb and some prawn. We took one of each so we can taste everything as usual. So as we are walking towards our tent, there's like, we can hear like hyenas in the distance, but not that far. Enough that I'm like, mm, we're walking by ourselves. <laughs> However, there is like a really big good fence and I see people like with their flashlights out. Yeah. But, we're... but let's walk, walk faster just in case. <laughs> So we are back at our tent after a very good supper and a very good first day. We had a great game drive. The, uh, the, the resort itself is really mm -hmm. nice, has like some sort of like a coast feel, the way it's built, the way it looks, and it's much bigger than yeah. what we thought. I think it's the first time that we've actually had a resort that was busy. Mm -hmm. um, I think now with kind of COVID vaccinations and everything, yeah. everything's starting to open up a little bit more. So that's been great. Now, mind you, um, we've normally been by ourselves at camps, which sucks for tourism, but it's been great for us because yeah. we've been the only ones in the game drives, mm -hmm. even though they're shared. Um, so we're shared right now and it's good. Yeah. It's okay. 
But we've hit one little snag. Just just little things. Like, Minor. So, so we're like matched with uh, four people that are like, you know, like in their 60s, late 60s. Yeah. And tomorrow they won't like sleep a little. So like we were asked to start the game drive at nine. And if you know anything about game drive or safaris, mm. it's way too late. Normally, like, you know, you start at six, 630 if you want. You're usually the... back by like nine times. Exactly. Like see the sunrise, but also yeah. like the animal in their most active time of the day. Um, the only reason why we agreed to that is because tomorrow we're actually doing a very long game drive because yeah. we're going to try to catch the migration because we never seen it yet. So that's why we, we we're agreed here it's in to the that. Afternoon. And because we did a lot of safaris in, yeah. you know, in the past and we're going to do a lot more in the near future as well. So we don't mind. Plus, you know, I don't mind sleeping in a little. It's the first safari we've ever slept in a little bit. Exactly. But if, if, if you're coming here and it's your first safari, you really want to see the animals in the morning and yeah. there's no migration, well, these kind of things can, you know, it can bother you for sure. Understandable. And the other small minor, again, these are very minor things, but mm -hmm. things to note for me, sundowners are my absolute yeah. must and favorite part of every safari. They might offer if we asked, but it was not a... Normally, like, it's, it's, a, it's a part of your afternoon safari. Yeah. Like, it ends up with, you know, they set up a table or whatever, yep. a glass of wine, and you just watch the sun go down. That was not a thing today. No. But, you know, just, just yeah. little things here and there. Overall, though, like, you it's know, staff great, is though. super nice. I mean, they fixed my truck. Yeah. So, they're great. <laughs> customer save, uh, customer service uh, plus, plus, plus. Yeah. The food is super good as well. Manager is super, super nice, yeah. too. She keeps coming in and checking mm -hmm. on us. Like, yeah. it's great. So right now we're gonna take a shower, yeah. go to bed. I'm sweaty and gross. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. <laughs> I it's, you to it. <laughs> it's the next day we had a fantastic night slept really well with those flap open oh and everything it that was, was great amazing yeah a lot of hyenas oh not my too far though the crap out of me once in the night <laughs> but whatever we made it through the night and it's very weird to be on a safari and not in a safari truck at like 6 a.m like i actually enjoyed my coffee this morning while doing my makeup yeah that never happens no <laughs> so now we're walking towards uh the main area to get breakfast yeah. and then in the safari truck and today we're gonna actually try to go see the migration for the first time of our lives which is the eighth wonder of the world so i'm pretty excited about that i really i really hope but we're still early in the season so we'll see what it, what happens look at this view in the morning can't get tired of this so I got a spinach and feta omelet. I think it's brie. <laughs> uh, with some beans. They look like they're kind of curried. And then we have the rest of the spread on the table. So I have a chocolatine and some ham. Bon appetit. Come on in. <laughs> So right now we're actually at the Mara River and this is one of the points where the hippo, where the hippos can cross, where the wildebeest can cross. But right now there's just a ton of hippos and some alligators, crocodiles, crocodiles. Yeah, alligators are in the, uh, the river and the hippos are crossing. There you go. <laughs> So no wildebeest yet at that first location. So we're gonna go check the other spot, which is Sand River. So I think we finally found a good spot. On our way here, just not too far behind us, we saw actually a big group of wildebeest that recently crossed. And now looking across the river, there is like thousands. Oh yeah, it's crazy. So much more than what I thought. <laughs> You guys, I think it's happening. There's a large number that went down. Now we're kind of racing through the forest mm. and try to get a better uh, viewing point. So 
So when they first started coming down, we thought they were actually going to cross the river. But what happened is they're coming down, kind of going along the river edge and then back up into Tanzania. They didn't decide to fully cross yet. So we're going to see if we can follow them a little longer and see if we can see them finally cross. Don't know. Feels great to get out of this truck. So we just found our lunch tree and we're going to wait and I see some food coming up and it looks very good. <laughs> I'm hungry. It's just like there's something like magical eating in the bush behind a safari truck. I feel like I'm gonna go back to the tent. Probably crash. Can you have to edit this video? It was so late. We have so much work to do. <laughs> I hold it like this. Uber Eats. No, the other way. So it should Uber be Eats this way. Oh, like this. Yeah. Okay. And so you call this. Oh, like this. You have. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. So nice game drive, nice little lunch. And now we are going to go back to the camp about an hour and a half away. And we're going to try another safari in the morning. Guys, this is it. We just illegally crossed into Tanzania. It's our first time in the country. <laughs> Welcome to Tanzania. <laughs> and we are back to Kenya. How was Tanzania, Tracy? It's fantastic. It's, it's so much different. We're there for like 45 seconds. <laughs> we, we don't know nothing about Tanzania. And we are ugh, back. Thank you. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning. See you yeah. We'll be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're kind of looking for a place uh, where we can work. So we're just looking for a place with an outlet basically. But while we're here, we just want to show you the, the lounge that they have on the second floor. It's very nice. So last night when we were having our bonfire, you could actually look up and see, and I saw the lights, it looked really pretty. So I can imagine at night here too, looking over this way with all the lights in the trees, maybe we'll stay long enough to show you. We'll see. <laughs> So we found a spot with an outlet, so we're gonna be able to go get our stuff, go work there for a little bit, uh, because this video is set to go live in six days and I'm not even done filming it. Anyway, very good safaris. Yeah. It was our longer, longest safari ever, basically, because uh, it, it took about seven hours. And it's which... the first time we've done like a day safari before. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was really nice. It was really nice. we actually get to enjoy our morning and then go out, have lunch and enjoy my coffee. Yeah, and really we like kind of saw like, you know, the, the wildebeest migration. <laughs> but we saw a fake migration. Yeah, they, they, they went into the river, went back up. Well, but you know, it gave us like a good idea of like what it looks like. And yeah. we'll definitely be back to see more of it. But we still have another safari tomorrow morning. So you never know. Fun fact, there is 500,000 wildebeest born every year and about 2 million crossing every single year as well. So what we've seen today is probably just under 1% than the total of them that will be crossing the river. Crazy. That's enough work for today. Now, wine and fire. Perfect table for supper. There you go. <laughs> So we just came back from supper. It was delicious once again. Like the yeah. food here is really, really good. Like really, really good. And it they have chapatis, 10 out of 10. And I had <laughs> questions about some of the Kenyan food and like yeah. they talked and explained it all yeah. out and it was we fantastic. We do like Kenyan food quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? I, I don't... In, in Ed, Edio? Edema? Edio. 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 That bean Green corn stuff. dish. Trace so is a big fan of that. I Very like good. it too. Anyways, shout out to Annie. Our driver. She is you amazing. You are amazing. Um, so basically, as we mentioned earlier, we were kind of worried because we were paired with another couple who are well, four a people, bit more which are like not a little bit more. They are about like three times our age. Okay, yeah, not three times. 
two and a two. No, but like yes, <laughs> like you saw yesterday at supper, they asked if we could like push our start time. So after we got back to the tent, we're like, oh, I really hope that we don't have to shorten our trip because yeah. we're only here for one full day, two nights. We want to get the best out of it. So in the morning, we caught Annie by herself and we're like, hey, can we just talk to you about something? Like, if this happens, what do we do? Like, yeah. it was not because, in a negative way. We just want to yeah. know. <laughs> because we wanted to see the migration, but the river is almost an hour and a half from the it's camp. Far. So if we go there and, you know, one one lady is actually like probably like, you know, in their 70s or yeah. something. If she needs something or, you know, like... It's and more tired, and more power. And I say that with like a, a yeah, love, more power like, to her, okay? Because in my seventies, if I can still go on <laughs> safaris, I'll be very happy. Yeah. But I like it's just weird to mix a young couple with elderly people because like they're, they're, they want a, a different experience, they have different needs. Anyway, yeah. I think on the management side that was kind of a poor decision, but I can understand there's a lot of people, there's yeah. just so many trucks, whatever. Our driver really made it work and she assured she was you. Amazing. I was she was like, We're gonna push them and if there's a problem, we're just gonna call the camp, we're gonna get a truck, they're gonna come pick them up or whatever. Yeah. But she was like, I assure you that your experience yeah. will not change. Like she's like, I'll and focus on, on you guys. So. On top of that, when we got back here and I was in the shower, the phone rang and David answered it and they basically, we got back at what, like four? Yeah. And they're and like, hey, I just want to know, like, do you guys want to go back out? Do you want to go out longer? And I was like, no, like, it's honestly okay. We've been yeah. out for like seven, eight hours. Yeah. And but that the was, thought of yeah. that. And that was the manager. So big shout out to her. Yeah. Like, she, they're really trying to make it, to make it work. Yeah. So like, you And know, since we compromised on today of leaving late, they let us kind of have, not the upper hand, that's kind of the wrong yeah, word. Yeah. But like, so tomorrow it's our choice. Like, we're leaving at 6.30. Sunrise safari. Yeah. So, Anyways, all that to say, yeah, talking, Annie's amazing. Yeah, talking about sunrise safari. See you guys in the morning. We got we got to go to bed. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. It is six twenty-seven, and we are going on a safari drive. A morning one. This one to catch the sunrise. <laughs> So Amy stopped the truck and at first we just thought, we're like, what are we trying to look for? But just as we looked over, the head popped up and there's, I see two, but there's apparently three lions there. And that was our last safari for this trip, but it's not done because it's gonna be a longer trip. And by the way, if you're ever here, ask for Annie, she's the best. She's amazing. <laughs> so every good thing has an end and it's time for us to go back home, but not for long. So stay posted because there's much more content coming up. We're, we're oh, yeah. gonna be in Opajeta tomorrow, so can't wait. Yeah. But for this camp... It honestly, like, I don't have anything bad to say like it's everything has been amazing i think the only point worth noting is it's a big camp yeah so there's 40 tents um and this is just coming from us we're used to smaller camps like 12 mm -hmm. tents and under so you still get the personalized service don't yeah, get the, me wrong the there. staff was really really good yeah it's just you have a lot more people around so like around the campfire and yeah. it just depends on what you like like it's a little bit less intimate because of that but service-wise, like, they have it nailed down for having yeah, a large camp. That's for sure. That. Yeah, all the stuff was amazing. Oh, you know, yeah. we, we, I still feel that we got a very personalized uh, service. Game drives were really good as well, even yeah. though it wasn't an exclusive game drive. Like, they really made up for it, to they be did, honest. They did um, great. And once again, <laughs> Annie, our guide, was a 10 out of 10. She was really, really She's nice. fantastic. So, overall, very good experience. Uh, but if you're like us and like, you know, 
a little bit more bush style yeah. really uh, experience, then I suggest a smaller camp, but not a bad but camp at all. But then the plus side to having a bigger camp is we actually, so we're quite far away from the main lodge. Like it's about a five minute walk yeah. and that's been nice. Yeah, to be able to like to walk, walk to your dinners and like yeah. not just have like five steps and you're there. So like there's pros and cons to every aspect. Yes. Yeah. And overall uh, price point, this place is worth noting that if you book yeah. within seven days, you actually get a small discount. Uh, so yeah. actually it goes as low to $160 US. US a person a night, which is which really is, good. Which is pretty good, especially for like the quality of the yeah. camp and everything that and you get. And conservation so, fees are relatively low as well. Yeah, is uh, 1,200 Canadian shillings yeah. per person per day uh, for resident and about $40 US for non-resident. Yeah, so fantastic. They even fixed our truck. They fixed our truck. We saw a little bit of the migration, yeah. a ton of lions and yeah. ate some delicious food. So, Can't get better than that. 10 out of 10 would do it again. Driving <laughs> the drive home. Yeah. Now okay, we, we, we are go. all packed up and we really got to go. We We're are a late. late. <laughs> so don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next one. <laughs> We're all checked in. That's your finger. <laughs> Sorry. It's going to have to be here. <laughs> you cross a bridge and it's you're crossing a river. That's restart. Put light on me. Oh, Jesus, not that much. Damn. But I think with having the. You know what I'm saying now? One more time. <laughs>